Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another video. I got another Potion of Luck farming spot for you. The Potion of Luck, if you don't know, is a Miss of Pandaria level potion. When you drink this, any mob that you kill in Pandaria or Pandaria Raids has a chance to drop something called the Plundered Treasure Chest. This chest contains some gold, motes of harmony, and other various Pandaria trade goods like ore, cloth, and leather. They last for 20 minutes, and you can find these on the auction house for an average price of around 50 gold across all US servers. A lot of people know about this spot already, but a great place to use this is the Heart of Fear raid. In the first couple rooms of this raid, there are a ton of enemies you can kill, and they drop a pretty decent amount of those plundered chests. The basic idea here is to clear these first few trash packs, and then reset the raid over and over again. To quickly farm this place, head on over to NPC Lorewalker Han at coordinates 8330 in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms and ask him to show you the Heart of Fear raid. This queues you up for the LFR version of the Heart of Fear, and it gives you the same loot as the normal 25-man version, but the mobs are just easier to kill. You can also reset really quickly too, because once you clear the first two rooms, you can simply leave the group by right-clicking on your portrait to zone out, and then you can talk to Lorewalker Han again to re -queue. We only want to clear the first two rooms. The damage can add up pretty quickly if you're not careful, so I like to split it up into three pulls. As you can see on this map, the red X's are trash packs, and the green lines are my path with the circle being where I cut the pole off. There is one more pack that you can clear after the third pole, but it's only 9 mobs and it takes a little while to kill so I usually skip them. If you want to make the most out of your potion though, I recommend just killing them because it could have a significant effect on your gold income. It takes around 3-4 to four minutes per clear if you split it up into 3 pulls like I do. Obviously if you're better geared you can speed this up a bit. To give you something to compare to, I'm an eye level 690-ish blood death knight. After just 10 clears, which took me around 40 minutes, I got hundreds of those plundered chests and a ton of green vendor trash. I think tank classes do have an easier time farming this, unless you're just super geared out. These mobs are still green to you, so if you get overconfident, they can take you out, so just something to keep in mind before you try it yourself. After opening all of the chests and vendoring all of the greens, I ended up with the following. 1530 raw gold. 159 motes of harmony, 81 white trillium ore, 63 black trillium ore, 92 ghost iron ore, 104 wind wool cloth, 96 exotic leather, and 7 ghost iron lock boxes. This adds up to just over 5700 gold in total value of the raw gold and trade goods. I got this number using the average price across all US servers on the Undermine Journal, which is a website that tracks auction house data. Not too bad for 40 minutes of work. This is just the very base value too. If you want to make even more gold, you can buy Golden Lotus with your Motes of Harmony and make Potions of Luck yourself and sell them on the auction house for a bigger return. I'm sure you can smelt the ore into something nice as well instead of just selling it raw. And maybe instead of vendoring the greens, you can make more gold by disenchanting them. It is important to note that this does have a limit. After 10 clears, you'll get locked out for an hour. This lockout system was implemented a while ago to prevent over farming, so this isn't something you can just spam over and over. But personally, I just find it fun to grind out a run every now and then when I got some time to kill. I have my hearth set to the Shrine of the Seven Stars, which is a stone's throw away from Lorewalker Han, so whenever I feel like doing a few runs, I can do it immediately. But I guess that's all I have to say. Good luck with your farming if you decide to try this out. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a like if you liked it, and if you really liked it, let me know in the comments and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, good luck, and peace!